Okay. Through Sinai versus Sinai Tokyo. I don't know what the bands were. I just got into this late. Uh, I'm actually not sure who I would consider favorite in this matchup. Possibly the Utsuro side, just because Utsuro's been buffed lately and Utsuro can shut down Mortal Flower. But if they both lean pretty heavily into Sine, it should be a fairly even matchup. If we're playing around Dark Pulse, we should be discarding everything. Okay, looks like we're not. I can't see that because I have my tool through. Well, Black Cars EV decided to move their range four first. Um, not sure what the rationale for that is. Song and dance, maybe. Doesn't play around that with uh, re. Cut down. Doesn't get song and dance at range four, I suppose. It clearly should be opening with Dark Pulse at range five, I feel like. Beat everything. Not saying it's a particularly good play, but it looks like the goal is to uh, pull all the aura damage out to get this to life. To hope that they take the 3-1 to aura. Because 2-1, 3-1... Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's... That's what I think was going on. See, if they did this at a longer range, then they wouldn't be taking this 2-1. I mean, you should never expect cut down to go to aura. Exactly. They could have cut down from range five, also, though. It's just the the potential threat of song and dance. I think the concern is that if cut down is first, then they'll know not to go to uh, zero aura from reap, and they'll just take a flare loss, right? So I think it was it was kind of like, oh, if I do this, maybe they'll take this to aura and go to zero aura because they have they lose a life otherwise. I don't know. I remember a long, long time ago when I played the game like that, trying to get all their aura out so I could surprise them as if my opponent couldn't think at all mm. and see that coming. Oftentimes because I was playing with new people, so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 
Yeah, a little bit of a question there on whether the polite return canceled or not. Did not. I'm passing it, range four. No, not passing it, range four. Right, that was the discard pile getting rotated. All right, so Lancing Strike is going back on top. I probably would have tried to keep it for the next reshuffle, but. Maybe Rodol gets lucky here. Now, on card choice, do you think that you take Reap? Because it's pretty much the only card these two have that's like guaranteed to be inside um, Polite Return range. Otherwise, you can just kind of ignore Polite Return as a card. Yeah, it's a... Um, well, a lot of your attacks are going to be at range 4 unless you spend the extra effort to go up to 5. Okay, yeah. I mean, I mean, okay, and you need to be at 4 anyways to dodge Song and Dance, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Or at least with Sinai's uh, things. Yeah. So it's not the end of the world to have one card that's countered by one card, but hard counter. Yeah. yeah. Actually, Reap is countered by multiple cards, but it's also one of the more punishing ones that Zoro has, and it can deal with the, the enhancements. Okay, yeah. Um, which enhancements... So, I'm oh, sorry, what's uh, Redal's partner, Megami? I can't see it from here. Uh, sign A also. Sign A also, okay. I guess. I don't know, I feel, I feel like... Uh, oh, they, do they already have um, Full Moon? Or... Uh, uh, what do you mean? Did, did they take uh, Utsuro's first attack, the 2-2? Two -two? Yeah, yeah, that's in Black RZV's hand now. Okay. I can't tell. <laughs> it's that and Any Swing point? Rush at the moment. Okay. So, I mean, as long as they also took that, I just wouldn't take Reap unless I also already had the other two Utsuro cards at this point, because Reap used to be, you know, the most usable card, because range four you're always going to be at. Right. Um, and the Utsuro A normal one, the Full Moon, that one got seriously upgraded this season so seriously yeah, upgraded and i think it's a better card yeah a lot of the times you would always bring it in the current season and if you had to take it before it was kind of like you'll take it if you can also take it with uh shadow wing yeah but now you don't even really need shadow wing because it's range four with enough shadow yeah you don't need shadow wing unless your partner megami is at two distance like yukihi I think it's still a valuable card in that situation. It's very effective, especially with Sinai. You instantly get into your attack ranges. There is Silent Wall. I think Reap has some actually very strong targets in this matchup. Of course, I think He'll be lucky if he can get the reap on a windy stage that M4 got in his match with YHS. That was devastating. <laughs> Both sides have silent wall. I think this is one of the few matchups where you, like, as Sine, really would want to take um, final stage. Because Tokoyo has, isn't it, three different attacks in her normal form? Attack specials. Um, so one of them is no reactions, and which, oh, that's right, it's no reactions. And yeah. the other one is a reaction. So the only thing you can catch out with that is eternal migrant. Or uh, I, I, occasionally people use yeah, they use the normal special to lethal. But usually, if you're in that kind of situation, you can just sit there and keep them from attacking until they reshuffle. Yeah. But with the context of uh, this is a uh, shadow, right? Yeah. yeah. Then I, I it just, you know, it's gonna have 
more value here than it should, I would say. Uh, <laughs> Fair. And, and honestly, I would take it anyways, just because on the off chance it's there, it's incredibly valuable, and there's at least two cards that would really trigger it. Let's Opponents see. get greedy. It's a reality. <laughs> there's Eternal Migrant, Silent Icebreaker. I think that's it, actually, right? It, it, oh, and, and, and the aggressive potentially yeah. Yeah, an aggressive Kuan, yeah. All right, cut down into reap. Taking the cut down to aura. Wow. I see that it's. Kind of cheeky, but it might be fine. So now we get the rush of or not rush, uh, swing rush for a two two ones here. Like icebreaker for the second one, maybe. That's a my rhythmic arc is up next turn if I impatient kind of move. Is this going to be a backup to range five and throw out a two two? Get blown up. Yeah, I feel like that's a really bad move here, but I don't know if there's much other good moves to make. Two recovers would probably be the the best move, right? Because you're going to get swing rush next turn. Swing rush, the uh, my glancing strike might come back at this range, but that's kind of whatever here. Okay, I mean you can do a forward movement recover then, uh, make them have to back up one for the swing rush. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think, and it looks like that's what they might be. I'm hoping that's what that discard's for. Because <laughs> otherwise, right, you get forward movement, you're at two aura, you do one focus, and then you can glancing strike. Okay, yeah, that's the. Oh, just end there. Mm. I, don't know if I, I mean, I can kind of understand it because they're going to be a, the dist, right? If you're going to take one life damage. Or no, two life damage, right? Yeah. But you're also going to be in position to do your own swing rush, and uh, there will be so much shadow that you can stay at four distance and play that card. So maybe holding on to it's fine. A swing rush might go into uh, Eternal Migrant here for a 2-2. Two -two. Sorry, Swing Rush and Rhythmic Arc, though, would also be a... Oh, uh, that's not that. Oh, no, it's not a possibility, because there's not. Right. And I think you'd want to keep Rhythmic Arc until it lethals. But, yeah, again, sure. it is a shadow match. <laughs> okay, that's not going on top of the deck, but that's fine. Especially yeah. if that's Migrant that we're about to see come out. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> Verdal is seriously considering it, but it might also be better to save Migrant for when it's lethal. Okay, here we go. Especially Dude. if this is final stage. <laughs> that would be really brutal. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. That would be game over. Which, which is why I'm like, you should really take it in this one situation. Black RCV is up to 18 player plus shadow. Another four there evens the game. Right? No, oh, did six. they? You know, if we took. He is the yeah. big the big shadow special, yep. Yeah. And does he have Rhythmic Arc as well? No. He has Erosion, and. Um, what was this last one? 
Oh, yeah, he does have a glow in the dark. I am a liar. Okay. That, that is a win. Like, that, that's a win in the back. Is that. There is no reap, though. But. There's very little way to make more shadow currently. Besides rhythmic arcing into. I mean, it's not going to make more shadow, but yeah. if you rhythmic arc here. That doesn't. That's four. Okay. So well, let's see. They're not going to get the other special, but they have lethal in hand. I'm oh, pretty yeah. sure here, which is good enough, you know. <laughs> that makes the that ashen condition for the four to seven range now. So rhythmic arc yep. does okay. So he has the two, the one one icebreaker to cancel one of the one life things. So he takes three life damage from rhythmic arc. Uh, Dark Pulse is another two life damage. Yeah, I think Dark and then Pulse for the dash two is another two life damage. So that's lethal. Um, unless he has Mortal Flower, but I don't think. I think the last ones were in the card. Yep. Okay, that's game. Oh, Silent Icebreaker hits life. Yep. Okay, but now we're at twenty one, and you can do twenty two, twenty three. You can do it. If you want to be cheesy, right? You can do forward movement, forward... No, you're one short. You could technically drop one to shadow, right? Using uh, Sine's one, but you'd need one more basic action. To be cheeky. Or you could just murder them with your normals. Or you could just win, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I have definitely never lost a game because I tunnel visioned on trying to get those three life to shadow, even though it wasn't lethal just because it was funny. <laughs> All right. No Kuan, that's the match. <laughs>